Hey, John Cristani here. I'm gonna be going over the one thing that may be holding you back from success in this video. Now, I've successfully trained thousands of entrepreneurs to making their first commissions on the internet. And I've taught tens of thousands of students total. And I've been able to see over the years, one of my really big interests is what holds people back from success while others, given the same information, are able to make money. And I've studied this and I've prepared three different reasons why people are held back from creating success for themselves. Let's get it. This is a good one. Now, as I said, I've taught tens of thousands of students. Not everybody's able to become successful and it pains me because I say, give the same information to everybody. Now, the first reason why I've seen people held back from success is failure to follow one direction long enough. Now, many of you may have seen the classic image of a miner who's chipping away in his tunnel and he gives up right before he reaches the gold. Whereas the miner who follows through and just keeps digging ends up finding the gold and making all of the money. This is very similar to life where the people with the most follow through and the most success are ones who boneheadedly followed one thing through to the end and got all of the riches. Success is not evenly distributed. Most entrepreneurs have shiny object syndrome and they switch directions way too much. You might even quit when you're at the 10 yard line of that goal, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the reason for this is because it's a lot of work to have success at anything. And when people realize how much work it is, 99% of people get scared away because it is a lot of work to become a millionaire, a multimillion. Now, when these entrepreneurs get scared because of how much work it involves to become successful, they start something new instead of doubling down on what they're already currently working on. Once again, start at the beginning instead of completing path one. Time's gonna pass anyways, but if you follow one direction, you will have spent it all in that one direction rather than 10 million different directions starting fresh each time. Now, my second tip for what's holding people back from success is that in the beginning, it's all about focus over diversification. Now, many entrepreneurs have heard that diversification is extremely important, multiple streams of income, etc. Now, this is true, but in the beginning, diversification will hurt you more than most things. It's all about staying laser focused on one course for success and not trying to do a hundred. Again, all the riches are at the end of the tunnel and they're reserved for those who work the hardest. Entrepreneurs think that, you know, the new method will be the secret to success, right? Facebook ads is all the rage right now. Yet I have a friend who's making tens of millions of dollars a year because he started an electrical company. Electricity's been around forever. Why didn't he just do Facebook ads and drop shipping? The truth is that applying one method consistently is what will give you success. Focus, scale, outsource or hire, and then worry about diversification, not first. And the third piece of advice that I have to give you is to get help from a mentor instead of shifting directions all the time. When things start to get hard, many entrepreneurs love to switch directions and start from the beginning and start something new. Now, the best thing to do though is to figure out how to beat that hard obstacle, that hard problem. I remember a quote from somebody who was my mentor a number of years ago, which was, the obstacle is the way. And I remember I was posting on uh, the Stack That Money forum. It's a forum for affiliate marketers. It costs like $100 a month, which was a lot of money to me at the time. But there's a lot of very successful affiliate marketers on this forum, making hundreds of thousands, millions, even tens of millions of dollars per year doing affiliate marketing. And I typed in a question. I was having an issue with some of my advertising at the time. 
And the reply I got from a very successful marketer on the forum was, the obstacle is the way. He didn't tell me what to do, but what he gave me motivation to do was to continue working on the obstacle, on the problem that was holding me back. And I did. And by solving that one problem I was having with my advertising at that time, I was able to make over $3 million that next year. I solved the problem in December of 20, I forget what year, but the next year I weighed $3 million just by solving one problem which I was about to give up on. Now let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you. And also let me know if there was a problem you came across in marketing or business that caused you to just give up. And let me know what that problem was. Now what's great about having mentors or about having other people in your business or industry that you're working in to draw advice off of, in my case it was a post in a forum, is that you're able to ask somebody for help. Most people never ask for help. Most people stay quiet and silently suffer. Don't silently suffer if you want to be successful in business. Be voracious, be tenacious, be a frothing, rabid wolf. Now asking a mentor for help is okay and it doesn't make you appear weak. If you genuinely have a good question that you can't just Google the answer to, very helpful to ask a mentor. Most of the questions I get on this YouTube channel are easily Googleable, or I've addressed them in other videos that I've done. And all those questions signal to me is that the person asking the question is not serious about success because they haven't Googled, <laughs> they haven't gone to Google and Googled the question, or they haven't looked at any of my other videos where I've addressed all of these topics. I respect people who are actually asking intelligent questions and reaching out to me for guidance. And I answer them. But 99.99% of questions I get are just junk. That guidance can help you overcome the hard things instead of switching focus. And in my case, the guidance I got wasn't specific at all. It just told me to continue working on the problem. And people are very smart. We're all very resourceful. And if we put our minds to something, we can solve anything. My goal is to go start an asteroid mining company. I'm wearing shirts from Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' space company. Big future, if you want to become billionaires or trillionaires, is in space, which has abundant resources for everybody on the planet and then some. So another thing I encourage is check out careers or learning things in the space industries. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are all great skills to learn for many professions, but especially including space. And space is going to be where the next big wealth boom occurs in our generation. So thank you for watching. If you want to continue the conversation, make sure to go to the Discord channel, Discord chat forum. Link is down in the description. Also, if you want to just, just hang out with me and chit chat, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm going to start streaming more often. I play a few video games. I play RPGs and card games, but I don't mind just kind of chatting when I'm hanging out on Twitch. So follow me there and make sure to come check out some of my streams from time to time. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment below to let me know you're alive. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.